Hey, what's up everyone? Netflix is in the news this week. They had a great quarter three, and I'm not really sure why. <laughs> they had a, you know, a 25% year-over-year uh, subscriber growth uh, just in the U.S. alone. They had a lot of big numbers. They exceeded their earnings, everything. Stock is shot to all-time highs. That's falling back a little bit now. But, you know, I'm not a stock guy. I'm not like my, my friend worth more investing. I don't personally own any tech stocks for ethical reasons. Uh, you know, I, I do own like mutual funds, stuff like that. But as far as individual tech stocks, I don't own them. So I have no skin in this game. I'm going to tell you, if I owned Netflix stock, I would sell it right now while it's still hot. And I'm going to tell you why. But the obvious thing is Disney is coming. Next year, Disney is coming. And most of the most valuable things on Netflix right now, the things the kids always want to watch, and that's really who always pulls you to Netflix, right? Is the kids, uh, you know, they want to watch the Star Wars movies that are on there. They want to watch the Marvel movies that are on there. Uh, you know, uh, I think Ant-Man and Wasp will be the last Marvel uh, MCU movie that will be on there. But outside of Disney's own content, which is a, about to go to their own service, Netflix doesn't have a whole heck of a lot. And even... Uh, some of their Di some of their Disney properties have been mismanaged. For instance, Iron Fist uh, was just canceled. If you watch that show, it had a terrible season one. I mean, it was it was so bad. I mean, I was I watched it for comedy effect just because it like, the acting was so bad, the uh, the script was bad, everything about it was terrible. They apparently improved it in season two and left it on a cliffhanger, and then Netflix still cancels it anyway in instead of trying to nurture it a little bit more after fixing your mistakes, which I think is kind of a shame. But, uh, you know, the Daredevil show is pretty good. I'm not sure how the Defenders were received. I didn't even watch it. Most of these shows, I find them incredibly boring. Uh, I, I like Daredevil because, uh, you know, I, I read that comic growing up. The rest, I didn't really, I never cared about. Iron Fist, I never made it all the way through Iron Fist. Uh, you know, they're comedy specials. They, they've sort of become the new HBO. I, I'm not sure why HBO's given up on on the comedy thing but it apparently has but these netflix comedy specials aren't very good the amy schumer special was so bad that netflix uh felt compelled to drop its five star rating system because people were giving it such low ratings the dave Chappelle specials the first two were pretty good but they, they kind of fell off a cliff after that uh, the latest joe rogan special i love joe rogan i listen to his podcast all the time it wasn't very good it wasn't very funny I'm, you know, Netflix is in an impossible situation. They're accumulating billions, hundreds of billions of dollars in debt. They're just racking up the debt, trying to compete with the entirety of ho the Hollywood system, and they're not going to make it because, uh, you know, content for uh, for as much as Netflix is buying, they're not getting uh, very much quality, are they? Uh, you know, they have Stranger Things. That's their big hit right now, H huge hit for Netflix. But part of that is. Uh, is how cute those kids are. And those kids are at kind of an awkward age. They're not going to be cute forever. Uh, people are already salivating over the girl who plays Eleven, which is just creepy and weird. You know, she's she's a little girl for crying out loud. You can't keep doing that show uh, forever. Uh, you know, anything you have uh, based around kids has a limited lifespan, unfortunately. Orange is the New Black is coming to an end. House of Cards is already over, and I would argue it was even over before the sp all the Spacey stuff hit. Speaking of Kevin Spacey, has a company been hit harder by Me Too than Netflix? You had, uh, you know, Kevin Spacey got hit. Danny Masterson on the ranch, uh, you know, that, that take him out of that show. If anyone other than my wife and I watches that, Louis C.K. That Netflix had deals with Louis C.K. Uh, he he had to go. Even Anthony Bourdain, I know he wasn't directly involved in any of that or with Netflix, but his shows have been on Netflix, and uh, you know his his untimely demise is. A, isn't helping things there. They're just, they, they seem to be a cursed company. Now it seems like their one big uh, hope is in overseas numbers. At the end of 2017, they had 8 million subscribers sign up to Netflix, and out of those, about 6 million were from overseas. And I can tell you from someone who's used some of these VPN services, you can't really do this easily anymore. It used to be really easy to see what Netflix offered overseas, and it's almost always like recent release movies. Uh, it's, it's a much better selection than here in the United States. So I think uh, that it, you know, if they have a, you know a path to salvation, it's in the overseas market. But as far as the U.S. market, I think in a year they're really in trouble because uh, Hollywood's already squeezing them because you know the big players uh, have majority stakes in Hulu. Hulu is getting a lot of Netflix's content. Uh, you know, when Netflix loses it, or sometimes it's just duplicating the content, but either way, Hulu is really encroaching in Netflix's space there. And then on top of that, you have Disney coming in next year, taking away uh, a lot of Netflix's 
you know, big draws and then adding competition on top of that. I mean, look, if people have to choose one streaming service a month, are they going with Netflix or are they going with Disney? Especially for families that have children. It's, I mean, look, you have uh, you know, whatever Netflix has now versus entirety of Marvel, Star Wars, Mickey Mouse. Uh, Netflix is about to hit the wall and it's about to go up against a juggernaut. Now, it could be wrong. You know, there's a lot of these smaller, you know, I do say Netflix is smaller in comparison to some of these behemoth companies, uh, but, you know, like a company like Dropbox, Steve Jobs once famously told the leadership at Dropbox that you're not a product, you're a feature. But amazingly, they're still in business years later, and they've managed to thwart off competition from Google, Apple, Microsoft. So Netflix uh, can stay around. Reed Hastings is a smart dude. But it, personally, if I were an investor in Netflix, I would sell that stuff now. Uh, I don't see their situation getting a lot better in the future. I think this is peak Netflix. I could be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, uh, give me a comment. Let, tell me why. And uh, give me a like on this video. Or if you don't like this video, you can unlike it. I don't care. Uh, you know, this is YouTube. As long as you get attention, it's all good. <laughs> and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, we got a lot of interesting content coming up. Uh, as always, and thank you for watching.